morning, yeah. fellas. It's all Raptor Jesus here, and we're back with another Let's Play in my Red Dead Redemption 2 game. Look at these fellas. Already, it's just early morning, and I already got to deal with some bandits. God damn it! Oh yeah, it's the only time I read red uh <laughs> whoops. Better run, fellas. I guess that one's gonna get away, huh? Horse is okay. Ah, there you are. There we go. Check and see what this fella has on him. But I picked up one of those horse revivals. Sure, my horse is good. I know I got another fellow up here. There he is. Just now some roadkill. Thought I lucked out and got a nice fresh deer carcass, but that one was a little bit or too rotten for my liking, fellas. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what's this fellow doing? Bit of fair in on the side of the road. Yeah. Hill. Try not to frighten these fellas. What I need is to get into a good old fashioned Yeah. Out of the way! 
Alright, we're out of here, jeez. Clear this ride up for you. I'll pay some of my bounty so I can Most move about a little bit more freely. Right Nothing more annoying than getting tracked down by a bounty Thanks hunter, fellas. Assistance. Hello, mister. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Nice. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. Bye now. Oh, hello again. Oh, there's a quiet fellow right there. How you doing, friend? Hey there, mister. Hey, mister. Something you need? Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Can't trust family sometimes, fellas. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> that was quite the ordeal, fellas, wasn't it? Here, take a little bit easy and just do a little bit of light robbery. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. 
Ain't that the truth, fellas. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. <laughs> Maybe they say the same about you. Hope you fellows have been enjoying the playthroughs of Red Dead, one of, I think, my favorite games out there right now. And if you do like these videos, I hope you subscribe and hit that notification bell, because it really helps me out in the algorithms. YouTube's kind of wonky with notifications. But I just appreciate you fellows watching, so you don't really need to do all that if you don't want to. <laughs> let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Now let's try to rob some folks. Make a good, dishonest day's living. <laughs> There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Get me all knocks out. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Hmm. Thinking some night robberies in order, fellas. Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Make sure to get my mask on. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. That's right, fellas, old squeaky chair is back. <laughs> Let's try to case the joint. I think waiting for night is a good idea, so they're probably all sleepy. Makes it easier to bust in, especially when they don't lock them doors, you know. See, it's in this old chest, huh? There we go, a little wad of cash. Got a little bit of a ring, huh? Very nice. Got another chest in here.
got a little bit of straw in there to keep it all nice and uh, safe when they're traveling, I guess, huh? Sounds like he's dying. <laughs> That'd be really sneaky right now. Try to hit this chest first, I think. Extra careful when we're going to this old armor here. Some of this jinxing elixir, I guess. Huh? There we go. That's a nice one. Now let's sneak on out of here. I think we'll check this chimney. You know, they usually hide stuff up in there. There we go. That was the mother load right there, fellas. Get on, dear boy. Let's get on out of here. Come on. Get on and let's head back. Take off my mask. You would just look like some stagecoach drivers, you know. Make sure to call my horse over. Don't want him just sitting there, you know. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Damn, I miss my So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's such a BSer. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Yeah, we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Let's try to slowly ease this bad boy right into that old barn. Try not to get any scratches on the Hello, nice paint Seamus. job. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, 
You know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah, let's sure. head back with them, I think. That's probably a good idea. A nice, peaceful ride back home, fellas. Take in the sights and such. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sweet home, fellers. Hope you enjoyed that little robbery. I sure did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary dreary world we live in.